The goals, the victories, the celebrations. Tonight they fade into history at the Montreal Forum. The last game in hockey's most famous building. Here's the CBC's Mark Kelly. This is the last pilgrimage to the hockey rink they call a shrine. About 90 million people have passed through these gates since the forum opened more than 71 years ago. These ones rushed for one last seat, for one last goodbye. Oh, now I live in St. John, New Brunswick, and this is the place, this is a mecca, this is hockey. It's uh, tradition, it's history. Tonight we're closing down one of the most uh, prestigious places in sports. That tradition, that history, it has a name. Here they call it the ghosts of the forum. And tonight, even the players were nervous about saying goodbye to those ghosts. There's so many history in this building, and I think it's one of the most famous in Canada. So uh, I think it's justified that we make a big, big thing out of it, and it's... Uh, uh, there's a lot of memories for a lot of people in this, in this place. I had great thrills in Montreal, you know, winning the Stanley Cup and, and playing my first game here, but uh, you don't close the forum too many times in a career, so... Uh. By week's end, the Canadians will move to their new home, the $230 million Molson Center. It's bigger and better than the forum. It has more seats, more luxury boxes, more everything. It's simply the best rink money can buy. But all that money can't replace all those memories. My dream came true, so... Just uh, ask former Canadian Dickie it. Moore. He's one of the many hockey legends who have been invited tonight to say farewell to the forum. And then, you know, you look in this forum here and you see those 24 banners above you and you say, I was part of those, some of those. It's, it is, it's, it's a thrill that nothing can replace. Some came to play, but most, like Gary Wilson and Frank Riccio, came to watch. They've been forum fans for 50 years. Today they came early just to get the feel of the forum for one last time. And so there's a lot of emotion in this building, and I think it's a byproduct of all of what is good in Quebec and Montreal, and, and uh, this building is, is just bricks and mortar, but it has an ambiance that you don't find in other buildings. And tonight celebrates the last act of a masterpiece. And tonight you could feel what made the forum so special, the fans, the legends. Soon after this game, the forum will be stripped down and sold for parts. From the seats to the Stanley Cup banners, everything goes. After more than 3,000 hockey games and millions of memories, the forum itself is now history. Mark Kelly, CBC News, Montreal.